Welcome to my channel Lenovate. In this video, we are going to discuss about the effect of the glycogen and the insulin. In this uh, diagram, here you can see there are increased amount of the glycogen and there is low amount of the insulin. So, we are going to discuss the increased amount of the glycogen effect on the phosphofructokinase enzyme and also we are going to discuss the effect is on the fructose 2 6 bisphosphatase the fructose 2 6 bisphosphatase first we have to know its important function here you can see in this show, uh, in this figure it is shown that fructose 1 6 bisphosphatase is going to convert into a fructose 6 phosphate this is an essential step of the gluconeogenesis that is the formation of glucose from the non carbohydrate source mostly from the proteins so in this step, this is a conversion of the fructose 1,6-bisphosphatase to fructose 6-phosphate requiring an enzyme that is a fructose bisphosphatase 1. This enzyme is inhibited from the fructose 2,6-bisphosphatase enzyme. So the fructose 2,6-bisphosphatase is an inhibitor of the, this enzyme and there will be no conversion of this. A step will not be taking place and there will be no formation of glucose that is the gluconeogenesis will be inhibited. So, here we know that the fructose 2,6-bisphosphatase is a major inhibitor of the fructose 1,6-bisphosphatase and that is the major enzyme for the gluconeogenesis. There is a conversion for the major step. So, starting from the cycle, here you can see, if there is an increased amount of the glucagon in the blood, in the hypoglycemic state, because as we all know, the glucagon is a hypoglycemic hormone, when there is a decreased blood glucose level, there is an increase in the glycogen secretion. So, this glycogen having a receptors present on the cell membrane of the uh, cell membrane and when uh, in the liver, the cell membrane having the receptors, the gly glycogen will going to attach on these receptors and there will be activation of adenylase cyclase. The adenylase cyclase pathway will going to convert the ATP into the CAMP and there will be ultimately the activation of a protein kinase A. The protein kinase A is a stimulator of the enzymes. But here, this protein kinase A will going to dephosphorylate the fructose 2,6-bisphosphatase. Here, in this step, we will going to see what happens. And we should focus on this step only. And this fructo fructose bisphosphatase 2 and this is an enzyme that we call as a phosphofructokinase 2 is inactivated and the fructose 2 6 bisphosphatase is activated because of the phosphorylation this is activated and the enzyme is inactivated in the phosphorylated form but what happens in the step that is stimulated from the activated protein kinase a there will be dephosphorylation of these two things that is the enzyme that we call as the phosphofructokinase 2 and there will be inactivation of the fruct uh, fructose 2 6 bisphosphatase so what happens the fructose 2 6 bisphosphatase will going to inhibit it and become inactivated that is the major step and that we want this is a bifunctional enzyme that's why there is a two activity one become activated and another become inactivated so what happens because of the dephosphorylation this phosphofructokinase 2 fructose 2 6 bisphosphatase become inactivated and phosphofructokinase 2 become activated because this is become inactivated and there will be decrease in the fructose 2 6 bisphosphatase concentration so what happens there will be decrease in the inhibition of the step that is a conversion of fructose 1 6 bisphosphatase to the fructose 6 phosphate and ultimately the formation of glucose that is a step in the gluconeogenesis so, if there is a decreased amount of the fructose 1, uh, 2, 6 bisphosphatase in the plasma, there will be decreased inhibition. So, what happens next is the increase in the process of the gluconeogenesis by more and more conversion of fructose 1, 6 bisphosphatase into the fructose 6 phosphate because of the enzyme that is a fructose 1, 6 bisphosphatase. So, there will be less inhibition because of the decreased amount of fructose 2, 6 bisphosphatase because of the inactivation from the protein kinase because of the adenylase cyclase and because of the increased glucagon concentration. So, in this way, there will be increased gluconeogenesis and increased production of glucose and ultimately what happens, there will be increased glucose in the blood and this blood glucose is going to release outside the, outside the cell of the liver 
through the gluconeogenesis into the blood plasma and ultimately there will be increased blood glucose concentration that was the stimulus there was a hypoglycemia but now there will be normal glucose concentration in the body so this was the whole step and this was the effect of the adenylase cyclase pathway and the glucagon on the fructose 2,6 bisphosphatase. It causes the decrease in the fructose 2,6 bisphosphatase and causes the increase in the fructose 1,6 bisphosphatase and ultimately causing the increase of the gluconeogenesis. So this was the step and this was the uh, pathway for the activation and the effect of elevated glucagon on the intracellular concentration of fructose 26 bisphosphatase in the liver. I hope you'll be explained well. I have made a precise explanation for you guys to better explain. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more.